Hello, this is Julie. I was asked a question today about how would I get my design from Cricut Design Studio into my other software in order to be able to cut it on my other machine. Well, this design is one that I, re I created in Make the Cut but I can't find the original file. However, I did cut this design from Cricut Design Space some time ago on my Explorer. So my file is saved in Cricut Design Space. So if I would like to use this file on my other cutter, because I have so many to make, I can have a couple cutters running at the same time, there is a way for me to get my design from Cricut Design Space into my other software. So I thought I'd show you how I do that. First of all, I'm going to use my Windows snipping tool, which is represented by the scissor icon at the bottom of my Windows 7 computer. So I click on that, and I click on New. And I'm going to drag my cursor around just one of the colors that has filled most of the screen. And now I'm going to open my Make the Cut software because it does the very best job of any software that I have of tracing a picture image. In order to do that, I click on the pixel trace icon, which is this about the center icon on the top toolbar with the four curved boxes here. I'm going to click on that. And since when I did the screen capture, the image went into my clipboard, I can clip on paste to retrieve the design from my clipboard. And I'm going to use color in order to grab this design. So I click on the color and apply the changes. You notice that I got more than I wanted in that picture, so I'm going to reduce the tolerance here to 1 and then apply changes. Now you see that I have just the shapes selected and they all show up over here on my screen. So I'm going to click on import and I'm going to continue, well I'm going to finish tracing right now. This image came in just fine but it's not the right size so I would have to go back to design space and select my design and see well how wide was that and I can go to edit to see that it was 11.76 inches. So I can come back in here and change the width of my selection to 11.7 I get it right 7 6 and press enter and the lock icon is on to keep the aspect ratio and now I have those pieces right here in, in Make the Cut. We'll do a little bit of editing in a bit. Now I'm going to go back here to Design Space and I'm going to get some of these other colors here. I'm going to click away from the selection. I'll do the same thing. I'll use the window snipping tool. Click on New and drag my mouse around the other colors that I want to use. They're now on my clipboard and I'm going to go to make the cut again and right here where my carrot is is where my next traced design will come in. I'll click on pixel trace, paste and again on the color tab click on the color box and now I'm going to trace in the red apply changes and I can see those look pretty good so I'm just going to click on import 
At this time I'm going to click continue tracing because I have some other colors that I want to do. So this time I'm going to click on the color box and select the burgundy color, apply changes, and those came in fine so I will import and continue tracing because I have one more color to bring in, that's the green. Apply changes and the green looks pretty good so I will import and finish tracing. Now again I need to resize these so if I select all of these same pieces I can see how wide these pieces are in their original size, 11.28 inches. These I'm going to select here and I'm going to make them 11.28 and press enter. So now I have those pieces. Looks to me like maybe those red pieces aren't quite as clean as I would like them to be. Yeah, they're pretty bumpy. So I might redo those red ones with them zoomed in. The green looks fine and so does the burgundy. So I'm just going to click on those red ones and delete them. Ooh, they've got some interesting dashed lines in them that I didn't need. I'm going to split this so that I can erase those dashed lines. And we'll try the red ones again. So I'm going to select just the red ones when I do my snipping tool. And this time when I bring them in, I'm going to click on Pixel Trace, paste, color, and click on the red, but this time I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so I can see the lines. And they look pretty good. If I increase the threshold and apply, then I don't get the shadows around them, so I think that'll be fine. These look much better. Click on Import and Finish Tracing. And again, I'm going to go back and find out what was the size of my original. It was 10.34 inches. So I'll put the same in here. 10.34 and press Enter. And move them up. Now you see they're much cleaner that way. I have one more part of the design to get and that's the envelope here. Again, I'm going to click away from it so the selection toolbar is not selecting the design. Click on my window snipping tool, click on new, I probably should get the whole thing and not just part of it. There we go. Go back over here. I'll zoom out. Double click to get my cursor on the screen. Click on Pixel Trace, Paste, and I'm going to click on Color again. Click on the color box and get my blue and apply the changes. So now I see my dash line and everything came in and I'll import that and finish tracing. I need to get the size of this envelope correct so I'll just select it here and check its size. It's 9.79 inches. So I'll make this 9.79 and press enter. And now I have everything the right size. I have all the pieces. The only thing that I need to do now is fix some of these dashed lines because if we look at them real closely we'll see that they're not simply dashed lines but they're little boxes as you can see here. It's pretty easy to fix these 
and make the cut. So what I'm going to do is select everything and break them all apart by clicking on the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh icon from the left. Now I'm going to select just the score lines, go down to the wrench icon and select thin paths. Then I'm going to join them so that we can see these and I'll zoom in really close so you can see that now instead of little boxes we have straight lines for our score lines. Sometimes these little score lines don't clean up as perfectly as we would like. For example, this one is a little bit skewed, but I can fix that simply by clicking on that bent edge and hitting my delete key if I need to. So then we have some of these, these uh, same kind of problems on the other score lines. So we'll select just the score lines. Go to the wrench icon and click on thin paths. And then join them up. And then we've got those fixed. We'll do the same thing with these score lines. Click on the wrench tool, thin paths, join those. Got some more here. Thin paths, join. And get rid of these extra lines down here. Select these, go to thin paths, and join. So I think all that's left now is just to join these back up again so that they're all together. I really don't want to select these score lines again because they need to be on their own layer. I'm going to send them to their own layer with the plus, smaller of the two green plus icons in the lower right corner and hide those so that I can now join everything else back the way they should be. And the same with these score lines here. I'll just send them to their own layer. And then I can join all these pieces. And I think that's it. So now I have my original design back again. I know where it is. Um, I can use it now with any of my make the cut designs that I need to use it for. So hopefully this has answered the question that came up. And thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.